will certainly be back for good. Darren, uh, get rid of him. <laughs> no, my friend Darren Peck, you, you've had some maps today that look like a Jimi Hendrix concert. Oh, yes, no kidding, yes, which I want, colors. and I want to use to kind of help illustrate something. There is some disagreement on this idea of how much rain we're going to be getting here at the end of the week. Potentially, we could be getting a lot of rain. Yeah. Friday going through Tuesday of next week. Remember the big blizzard on the East Coast last week? Oh, yeah. yeah. And how one of the meteorologists came out the next day and apologized to New York City for getting the forecast wrong. Yeah, what did you yes. think about that There's apology? No apologizing right. in meteorology. There's no crying <laughs> in baseball. There's no apologizing in meteorology. This is not an exact science. Right. Let me explain how there's some disagreement here on what the potential is for rainfall. Go ahead and take a look at two different forecast potentials for what's going to happen here. This is Thursday night. You're looking at two weird looking maps of California. The one on the left is one forecast model's idea of what's going to happen. The one over here on the right is another one. This one, the GFS, it stands for Global Forecast Systems, is showing us a lot of rain coming into the north coast of California for Thursday night. The one over here is not. That's the North American mesoscale. Mesoscale is just a way of saying, you know, looking at the atmosphere in a little more specific, small scale way. So here's the disagreement in the models, and as a forecaster, this is really difficult to look at. Remember the big disagreement with the blizzard from uh, New York City? The GFS was the only one that got it right. And they actually just updated the GFS. Now, we can't say because it got it right on the East Coast, it's going to get this storm right. The parameters are different out here. But if we look at some other forecast models uh, for what we can expect as far as the rain, like the one we've got in-house, this is ours here. And let's watch the rain come in on Thursday night, taking in all of the information we have, and watch this really impressive band of rain by the time we get to Friday morning at 1 a.m. Look at the trailing bands of heavier rain coming into that same location that the GFS had it. So with everything we've got to go on, it looks more likely than not that this is the way the storm's going to come together. In other words, it's going to have good enough aim that here in Sacramento and even further south down into the San Joaquin Valley, we're going to get some decent rain out of it. Here's what it looks like in the seven day forecast. I've got rain on Friday and Saturday, potentially as much as an inch to two inches. And I'll go into the real specifics. I've got some maps that'll give you the specifics on how much rain to expect out of this coming up in a few minutes. And then on Sunday and Monday, that 50% chance of rain, more opportunities, more waves of energy coming through the weekend and into early next week so that we could still be talking about this pattern into Tuesday of next week, which could potentially give us a lot of rain spread out over five days. More on that coming up in a few minutes. For now, guys, back to you. Thanks, Darren. Bye.